One last time. Hey drummers, hope you're well. Just a quick one, shout out to Superstar Channel member Jason, who is playing with us today. This is a simple, old classic. One of my favorite drummers ever is Manu Kache, beautiful drummer, and he uses this fill a lot, especially on Peter Gabriel, Secret World, which is probably the album I've listened to, well, in the top five albums I've listened to the most, over and over again. And he plays this little move a lot. It's a lovely thing. It's a little signature move of his. It's really simple. All it is is four 30-second notes on the end of beat four, played as single strokes, typically in his case, not always, but typically it leads to a splash cymbal on beat one. So that's one of his, again, one of his sort of signature sounds, I would say. So let's just take a real simple version of it. One and two and three and four and one. So simplest way of saying it is on the end of beat four, you've got four hits, ba 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 ba, right, left, right, left, and landing on that crash or splash if you've got it on beat one. And three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Yeah, I'll slow it right down. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One, two, three. This time, one and two and three and four. This time, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This time, one, two, three, four. As you hear in there, what he often does, again, not always, but very often there's that crash symbol on beat two. I made a video about this a while ago. It's one of my favorite moves is that crash on beat one or splash on beat one, and then another crash on beat two, just when you think all the fun is, is over. So optional extra as you hit the snare drum when you've resumed the groove again on beat two, that backbeat snare drum on two, another crash with that. Coming up, one and two and three. Coming up, one and two and three and four. I'll go slower. Okay, this bar coming up, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So like I say, shout out to Jason. It's obviously one of those things you can overuse it, but I probably do, honestly, but I love it. And it's just one of those little moments. It's relatively simple. Obviously, you need a certain facility with your single stroke roll. But as Jason was saying today, the, the cool thing is you don't need to be crazy fast because it's not very long. So as long as you can get those four notes out, you're in business. It's not like you've got to sustain it for ages and ages. Just that little burst. What a lovely moment. It's just, it's why I love Manu Cacho's, Manu Cacho's playing. He's just got those lovely little moments of energy. And he just has this sort of sprightliness and this, this, this vibe, this feel, this energy that just you can't, Take your ears off it for one second because there's always something exciting happening. It's very exuberant, very sort of, I don't know, I feel like it's very celebratory, very sort of, you can hear his enthusiasm for music and drumming in it. And I love it. It's such, such delightful playing. One last time. Like I say, shout out to Jason and um, Notation. Let's get some WD-40 on that pedal. Notation, practice along version as you as ever on the channel members page. Shout out to all the amazing channel members who support this channel who come in. Join up via my Buy Me A Coffee support page. Can't tell how much I appreciate it. Supporting this channel, helping it grow. Amazing stuff. If that's ever of interest, details below, a link below. But yeah, Notation and practice along on that page. Thanks a million. See you soon. Cheers.